reason why I bought Hi-Fi, I got into Hi-Fi, was many, many years ago when I was 16. Um, I went to a friend's house and saw a Lynn Sondek for the first time and, uh, and heard some speakers that I thought, oh my God, that's amazing. Ever since then, I've been fascinated with not just the sound, but the quality of the equipment, how it's built, how they manufacture it. For many years, I couldn't afford the type of equipment I can now. It's just when I had the opportunity to, to, to buy something of very high end, I took the plunge. Listening to music for me is about emotion, it has to be, because when you have a good quality recording and when you have a good quality equipment, when you get goosebumps, which I don't always get <laughs> when I'm listening to stuff, um, that's obviously the, the best you can get. A lot of my friends are musicians. I would always go to listen to live music and concerts and jazz and soul's my stuff. I really enjoy or try to bring that experience into my house. That also dictates what type of speaking system you're gonna have, but I'm listening to high-end, high-energy music, so you need a system that can handle those type of highs and lows. And I think it's a never-ending journey, but when you get to the point where, where you can listen and just listen to the music rather than trying to listen to cables or speakers and things, that's when it becomes enjoyable. I've done lots of mistakes. I haven't just done one mistake. I mean, one of the biggest mistakes I remember doing was uh, thinking that um, vibration plays no part in a CD player or a preamp. It, you know, it makes no difference. It has a massive effect on the sound, much more than I would have ever believed. I also learned that if you're ever changing something, don't change two things at the same time, which is what I've done before. So I change one thing or one cable and then change another, and I can't remember which one is which. You know, you always do things methodically if you want to get the best, again, out of what you're listening to. And again, if you can get a friend involved to do a blind test, because sometimes it's easy to fool yourself into believing something, which I've done in the past, that sounds better than another. And sometimes it's not about sounding better, it's about sounding different. And that's a mistake that I've made as well, thinking that something sounds better or clearer, when in fact it's thinner. The thing that I think can give you the most impact for the least money is a subwoofer, or a pair of subwoofers, ideally. Because to me, that will make a difference to any system of any price, whatever you can afford, that will make, in my opinion, some of the most massive impact when it comes to, you know, without changing too much. Without a doubt, the CD player. Because if you don't, again, if you don't get that right, it's very hard to judge any other component. So for example, if I chose something less that I don't believe is the best possible um, quality that I think I can get, then how can I possibly judge the other pieces of equipment? My criteria is always to get the best CD player that I could possibly afford to get and that's manufactured I believe in the world. Why is Soteric? Because they spend a lot of time engineering and dividing the CD player which ultimately normally is in a one box system into a five box or, or actually this is a six box system. Um, so I put change that again. It's a five box system. Yeah, five box system. <laughs> Why did I say six box? Sorry, it's a it's a five box system. I then thought to myself, well, if I'm going to invest money, I don't want to spend money getting this whatever Marantz with this uh, Macintosh with whatever preamp. You know, there's so many different preamps. There are thousands of different preamps, power amps, and systems. So I thought to myself, utilize what manufacturers done, which is TAD. They have speakers, preamps power amps, even CD players. So you have synergy already being designed by experts who spent thousands of hours, millions of pounds possibly, you know, researching and developing what they've got. And I don't have to waste my time trying to emulate that when I can just purchase that. And I would always think to myself, and I think that's what most people think, when they try and get the synergy right, they're never quite sure. Whereas I don't have to think about that the pre-power and the speakers are from the same manufacturer. So that cuts that problem and question out. Well, what made me go for TAD was their reputation because they come from the recording industry uh, and it stands for Technical Audio Device. It's a division of Pioneer actually. And they've been for many, many years designing equipment for studios. This hasn't been designed for studios, it's been designed for houses. But what I'm saying is the engineers behind it are professionals and they deal with making music and again that's what I believe is important if you get a company that makes music 
then the theoretically, you know, they're, they're also at the other end of the scale. So they're actually producing the records and the stuff or CDs or whatever you're listening to. I went with that full system because again, I knew the quality was high and they've got the lowest recall of any manufacturer I was told for things breaking down or anything. That's very important to me. I use the word synergy because that is highly important to me because these amplifiers were designed to be used with these speakers and that amplifier has been designed to use with that preamp. Now, is it the best preamp and best power amp in the world? I don't know, I doubt it. Um, but for this system, for this money, I believe it's the best you can achieve. The preamp is a dual mono construction with a separate power supply. So the power supply is actually in the drawer there, you can't see it, which is completely separate to the preamp. Most preamps have the power supply within them which again creates a magnetic field and can interfere in the sound. So they went to extreme lengths and it's got an um umbilical cord that goes from the preamp to the power supply. And the same goes for the power amps. The power amps are designed with the old fashioned transformers. Again, if you go on the website, you'll see that they don't cover the transformer in a, in a box or whatever, because they think that interferes with the transformer, which is one of the most important parts of the power amp. And they are biampable and biwireable on the power amps. They do a bi-amp version and a, and a mono version. I've got the mono versions. Um, and again, with the bi-amp setup, if you do buy that system, you get even more freedom of the speakers. I've tried that out. Bi-amping, if done correctly, is a very nice way of freeing up the sound and, and, and uh, uh, letting the speakers actually act in a different way. This is the TAD Reference 1 speakers. This is number serial 1 and serial 2. So these are the first new pair of this type of speaker in the world. Um, which I got about coming on to just under two years ago. Um, and they are special in the sense that the cabinets are actually manufactured by a Japanese furniture maker, um, which would be a common sense thing to do because they put sort of cabinetry and, and wood together on a regular basis. So obviously they are the best technical people to put something like this cabinet together. They weigh 120 kilos each. Um, and they're very, very, very dense. I mean, they've got no sound in them whatsoever. Um, and that's the whole point of producing this type of speaker because they're curved. It's a parabola shaped cabinet, yes? So that way it creates a sound like a parabola so that it focuses the sound of the bass through a bass reflex at the bottom there. So it's bass reflex, and you've got a 10 inch here and a 10 inch there, and you've got a dual uh, mid-range, which is beryllium and tweeter designed by Kef. So, the whole system is really a two-way speaker. It looks like a three-way, but if you take that as one speaker because it's dual concentric, and then you have the bass and the other bass, and then it's um, by wire but at the back, and the cabinets are a Japanese cherry wood, which has got a beautiful gloss finish on it. And as I said, I raised the uh, speakers off the ground because again, even though they're floor standing speakers, they're designed to be on the floor, they, any, any floor sounding speaker sounds better when it's slightly raised off the ground. So these are very special being number one and number two. Um, and as I said, I've had lots of pleasure listening to them. Once I'd set the system up, I then tried the rails, um, which again, some people might think is over the top, but again, trying it in my system, you know, and listening to it and listening to it without, it's basically like having a car with no tires. I mean, the difference was just, you know, the ride was before I thought was brilliant. I know how good it really is now because it adds so much. Any system on the planet, in my opinion now, needs some sort of subwoofer system because it, t it allows the other speakers to breathe easier and not spend its energy producing low end notes. And it's not just about low end because it improves the mid range, the treble, the, the sound stage, all things that it shouldn't do, it actually does. And I didn't expect that, but that's my experience with using the uh, REL or any subwoofers. <laughs> It's, it's very, very natural and very neutral and very, it's unfatiguing. Um, and it's very, in my opinion, uh, real, which is what I'm after because I judge everything from the concerts. And again, you have to ask yourself this question, you know, what, what is your goal? What are you trying to achieve? I, I want to get as close as I can to listening to a live band. Um, but when you listen to a live band, it actually sounds very, very dynamic, but very smooth at the same time. 
and that's what these speakers can achieve. And I love their stereo imagery and their holo, holo I can't even say that word. Holo to say this, yeah. Holographic imagery. Often I can hear uh, a track where I hear no sound out of the speakers whatsoever. And again, I've never heard a system like that where you hear the imagery of the voice in the middle and you hear instruments behind you, but you hear nothing from the speakers. I enjoy that fact that, that it brings you into the actual environment of the actual sound, which again, I haven't experienced with other speakers. Would you say you're, you favour dynamics more, or soundstage more, or soundstage space? I don't stay, I don't fancy, oh, fancy, so sorry again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, don't favour anything in particular other than the synergy of the whole sound. You know, I don't think you can say I, I, I want a fantastic holographic image or I want this or I want that, you know. Ultimately, you want something that you can sit down, not be fatigued, spend hours listening to it and think, what can I listen to next? And you want to listen to something next. I've had so many years of, of secondhand hi-fi that got me to this stage because without that experience, I wouldn't be here now because at one point I never had a system for like 10 years. I, I couldn't be bothered. I thought, no. Nah. And then I, when you get back into it, it's, uh, it's, it is addictive, there's no doubt about it. It's not just about that, it's about, you know, the enjoyment of getting, it's the path that leads you to. Do you think set up a hi-fi system is all about also paying attention to lots of little details? Without a doubt, yeah, you, you have to spend, it, again, it depends what you want to do. I mean, it depends what your goal is. It depends what your aspirations are. You know, I enjoy detail. For me, it's all about the detail because that's what makes everything. You know, that's what gets you to the point that you want to get to. If you put your time and frame and effort into, you know, achieving that. And in a, in a way, that's why the demo discs are good because if you've got one demo disc that you know and you are familiar with, then again, that makes it easier to judge things. Michael, thank you very much for inviting me into your home and for giving me a listening session with your amazing Hi-Fi system. Thank you very much. And obviously, thank you for coming on my YouTube channel and allowing me to shoot a Why Hi-Fi video with you. I know we're going to do a few other bits and pieces as well. But So let's quickly talk about Tad because the bit that was interesting is, and the reason partly why I'm here is because that you're interested to maybe work with potential customers for yeah. Tad in the UK yeah. because you feel like maybe it's a little bit of an underrepresented brand is, yeah. in, in terms of exposure compared to maybe some of the others. Yeah. And you feel that it's difficult to get maybe an in someone's home set up listen of them correct. as well. Correct. Yeah, is, yeah. So explain to me what, what your plan is with that and what, you, what, what I suppose what you'd like to offer or what, how that would work. Well, through Nintronics, I'd like to offer a service if somebody's really serious, obviously that's up to Nintronics to decide, um, that they can come and listen in a home setting um, something that I've spent a lot of time to work with and to get to that point. And so that person doesn't then have to worry about listening to in a showroom or wherever he, they will listen to that and they're not sounding how it would do in a sort of similar sized room as sure, this. Sure, sure. Yeah. So, so what, I mean, obviously I just want to clarify, you don't work in the trade, do you? No, that's not your business no, at all. No. So this, this I is- I do this for fun. Yeah, yeah, so that's yeah. that's really quite expensive an interesting fun. one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's expensive for all of us. Yeah, yeah. But it's just, it's just that was quite, that's, it's quite a unique position and opportunity, which is partly why I wanted you to come on camera and partly yeah, why I wanted yeah. to be here and talk about that because this is a really fantastic system. And in a, in a way, I'd love everybody who watches my channel to be able to hear it. Obviously, that's not not the reality, not you know, possible. Yeah. But if someone is interested in this, then it is a lovely opportunity to be able to come and speak to somebody and get kind of, what's the word, un, unimpartial. Is it impartial? impartial get impartial, yeah. unbiased. Yeah. You know, thoughts from a, from a genuine Exactly, owner. because I'm not here to sell the product as such. I'm just telling you my experience mm -hmm. and what I'm doing and how it's how it works in my setup. Yeah. So, Michael, mate, it's been an absolute pleasure to, to come into your home and get to listen to, you, to your system, which is really special, right. a really amazing Thank system. You. I've really enjoyed yeah. it. And I'm probably going to move in. There's space over there for me to move in. So, yeah. uh, yeah. see his I'll face, can't you? Charge your room. <laughs> <laughs> but, again, thanks very much again. And I uh, hope yeah. everyone's enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Why didn't you ask them to do the likes and all that stuff?